Hello and welcome to another out of spec motoring video. This is a video without a road trip inside of it, but stay tuned because this video is going to be really interesting. We're going to be talking about the A to Z's of EVs sponsored by our friends at Chargeway. Now, the first video has already gone live. We posted a few weeks ago where we talked about how to find chargers and the different types of charging speed using Chargeway's app and then their also speed and charge port logic. So each charge port type is color coded and then the speed is one through seven. I think it's really smart, makes it very easy for customers to understand uh, that are new to EV to understand how to get to the right charger for their needs at the time. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the purchasing experience of an EV. You'll be able to send this to friends that work at dealers, uh, to friends that own dealers, and to friends that are looking at buying their first electric car to help them all get on the same page. You join me outside of Herzog Meyer Volkswagen here, just outside of Portland, Oregon. I haven't been able to spend enough time here in the Pacific Northwest, and recently we were on that Archimoto road trip, which was awesome, and now we're here on another road trip. That video will go live in a couple weeks, but we stopped in here for a particular reason, and dealers across the country that are now starting to sell electric cars are having to learn the cars just as consumers are as well and i'm sure you've all experienced or heard of an experience where you show up to a dealer and you're there to buy a new ev and maybe you experienced this when you were getting your first electric car and the salesperson didn't know about the cars couldn't tell you where to charge them how the ownership experience would be like and well i think chargeway has come up with a pretty interesting solution that we're going to explore as a a refresher let me walk you down this line here because I want to run through just the color coding and numbering scheme that Chargeway has put together that you can sort of live in this little bubble and understand EVs at a pretty high technical capacity but with very little effort and understanding I think it's interesting the Tesla standard which is the Tesla proprietary plug is labeled as a red plug this is a model 3 performance it can charge at of course 250 kilowatts peak and that is the max number Chargeway goes up to actually they support up to 400 kilowatts so this is can charge it up to a red level seven i think really interesting how they go up into seven levels here at some point we might see a, a level eight as uh, technology improves of course this here is a nissan leaf it uses the chatamo fast charging standard so you can see here for all of the fast charging so level three through seven this would be labeled as a blue plug in the app it also has a j1772 port if you come on over here timon you can take a look and see this here the j1772 port is labeled as a green plug so this is actually one of the few cars that is both a blue and a green depending on the speed of charging. And then we come over here to the new Volkswagen ID4 that is a green up to, I believe, a level six. Can this, this can do 125 kilowatts right now, soon to be updated, I think, to faster than that. You can see here J1772 and CCS. That's the technical term. All you would have to remember is that's a green. So I think Chargeway's onto something really interesting with this naming structure. You can also see here, if we come over to this charger, again, this is a refresher. We talked a lot about this in episode one. You'll be able to see here that they have chargers labeled. So especially here in the Pacific Northwest, but also in other parts of the country, you know, if you roll up to this, it's a green level two and level two in this case, isn't denoting that this is a 240 volt charger. It's two in terms of speed. So level one would be a wall plug. Level two, is like this and then you have of course level three through seven that would use ccs come inside with me just follow me on in here because this is where we're really going to be focusing on today with this video this is herzog meyer volkswagen and we're not here because it's a volkswagen specific store you can do this for any brand that carries evs but you walk inside you can see cars on the showroom floor you can see the id bus over here you can see id4 on this screen really cool all looks good typical dealership and for a lot of people this would be an intimidating thing because sometimes salespeople don't know about evs that is not the case here because of this stand so if you walk into a dealer and they have this very nice white stand with the chargeway badging you know they know what's up and there's more to this stand but we'll get into it this is cool let me just explain to you how this would work Let's say we're over here, pretend this GTI is electric. Let's say we're over here. I'm like, hey, how far does it go on a charge? Where can I charge it? How would I live with this car as a new EV driver? 
And the salesman's like, you know what, rather than me explaining it to you, let me help you visualize electric fuel. And that's what this does right here. You need to think of electricity as fuel, it really is. And so this is basically showing you all the available fueling stations around. You can see here we've selected the Volkswagen ID4 first edition in this case. It can go up to a green level six. We spoke about this outside. And then you can see all of the available chargers here in Portland. Now, what it's showing me right now is three through seven, just the fast chargers, but I can have it show everything all the way down to a level one, a slow charger. And look at this, they are just absolutely everywhere. You know, the point of this video isn't to show how easy it is to road trip an EV. We'll be doing that later on. It is very easy, by the way. It's just to show you how if you're buying an EV, having a tool like this in your dealer as a customer or as a salesperson makes explanation so much easier. Let's say you just want to know where the fastest possible chargers are. They're pretty hard to find. So we'll, we'll, you know, we'll say level five through seven here. Take a look at this. Of course, there's less of them, but they're all along major highways. So you can know you can go pretty much every direction outside of Portland and charge up mega fast. So really cool tool to visualize things. Uh, here in the state of Oregon, there's also incentives, for example, when buying an EV. Federal tax credit, of course, applies here for Volkswagen. You also have your standard state rebate program. There's other things as well. I don't want to pretend that I know all of them, but this can explain it. You can, of course, see based off of how much you're driving, your cost to charge this particular vehicle at home, factoring in its efficiency. And then even when it comes down to home chargers, there's a $500 rebate to install a home green level two wall box at your house. And so this to me is just the best thing ever to have to a new EV owner, especially with salespeople that may not be as confident in electrification. This is a great way to hit all the major points and to just walk someone through and visualize the entire process. I think it's pretty impressive. You join us over here now at the PG&E station. This is a green level four. It's also a blue level four, which in sort of technical speak means up to 50 kilowatts for Chatamo and CCS. You can see the ID4 is here charging. The Leaf is here charging happily together. This is awesome. This is not the point of the video. We've already showed you all the other ones. I just kind of wanted to remind you how the app worked so you can find stations. Let's head back to the Volkswagen dealer, actually run through that little post there and ask the dealer how they've been util utilizing Chargeway system. I'm really curious though, because a lot of people buying ID4 specifically are new to EVs. This is their first electric car. So the dealers are having to do quite a bit of explaining, which a lot of dealers find pretty hard to do. So let's run over there and see what it's like. Before you even get to the dealer, you're probably going to do some research as a customer and understand the car. And Chargeway is also here to sort of reinforce the same stuff we just went through here. And in fact, this might be the first time you see it. So come take a look here. For example, let's say we're looking at this Volkswagen ID4. It's listed in inventory. I'm just on the dealership's main website, nothing fancy here. And then over here, for example, you can see this little tab that says Chargeway. So let's say I go ahead and click on that. We load up up this right here, which is the Chargeway app map here on my display. Now it's optimized for iPhone and Android, of course, and also the displays, but it's the same thing here on my computer that I just experienced in the dealer, or in this case, maybe before I experience it in the dealer. And so what I'm able to do is, you know, find chargers around my house, just at home, learn about them, see what they're available. For example, take a look here. You can see this Electrify America goes up to a six. It, I can see photos of it here. You can see it's in Portland, Oregon. Everything I would need to know, pricing, hours of availability, just from sitting here in my chair. So I think it's very important for EVs to make sense, especially to a beginner driver, to a new driver, or to someone who just doesn't care about all the technical stuff, um, is to you know, find the car you want, Nissan Leaf, XE40 Recharge, ID4, doesn't matter. You go to the dealer's website, hopefully they have baked in the chargeway stuff, you click on that, you find, you know, where all your electric fueling points can be away from home. Of course, at home is awesome too. For example, here in Portland, Oregon, PG&E has an awesome rebate program. I'm sure there's others in the U.S. Um, and then you just kind of build out your own network. You find the chargers where you are. So this makes buying an EV so much better and so much easier than experiences even a year or two ago. This is pretty neat. And there you have it. If you're shopping for a new car, I would say try and find a dealer that's educated on EVs. If you are a dealer that's not yet educated on EVs, consider 
going with this chargeway solution. I think it really would help. Seriously, just uh, it's so hard to train your entire staff, especially with new people on a whole new technology. This screen takes a lot of the barrier to entry out of explaining to a customer how to buy a car. So there you have it. We'll have two more videos in our EVs from A to Z series. This was number two of four, of course. The next one I'm looking forward to sharing with you because we are taking a Volvo XC40 recharge and we're gonna see how someone would live and own and sort of immerse themselves into daily EV living.